Hi everybody, I'm Mark Kesson and you're watching AFF TV. So I'm here with AFF CEO Stephen Upfold. And Stephen, the membership and competition fees have gone up this year. Um, how, how much have they gone up? Yeah, so there's been a change in the, in the way that we run competition fees this year. And for everyone out there, um, this year we've decided to, to move towards an individual model and that's to differentiate um, the differing level of service that the players get. Um, so from our perspective, you access a different level of service from us, you should pay a different fee. So um, players who play in-house football, there was a rise of just over $2. Um, and then when you step into junior competition play with AFF, um, the rise equated to um, just under $9 per player this year. In youth football, uh, again, differing levels of service depending on which level of play you're at. If you're in youth competition uh, at uh, community level, you'll pay just slightly more than $10 more than you did last year. And in talent, um, almost just over $14 more. And in the senior space, and again, another split, the maximum addition um, over last year's fees in the senior space is just over $27. So can you just tell us why these have gone up? Obviously there would be reasons for it, right? Yeah, and I think in part it's, it's good to understand the, the background in which AFF operates. Um, the, the percentage of um, fee income that goes towards our entire uh, income base is around about 30%. And um, the rest of the, the money we generate comes from user pays programs, um, grant funding of different avenues and sponsorship and things of that nature. And um, the, the revenue um, structure in federations is, is quite unstable at the moment and so to ensure that we can deliver core service effectively um, our board made the strategic decision to, to raise fees um, for the 2019 season. If you'd like more information on our AFF membership and competition fees you can head to our website, there's a resource page and you'll find more information on it. Well, you heard it from the man himself, Stephen Upfold. Uh, moving on to our next item, which is the FIFA Women's World Cup Trophy Tour. To be from New Zealand and be able to bring it home uh, to this country for me is an amazing privilege. Uh, I think it's also a great acknowledgement to the football ferns. Uh, the fact that they've qualified, I mean there's only 24 teams across the whole world that make it to that level. So it's also nice I think to acknowledge them and what they've achieved. We're super privileged uh, as a country to be able to host the FIFA Women's World Cup trophy here. Uh, it hasn't been here since back in 2011, um, so, it's, so it's been a while, so this is the second time round. To have the trophy here, especially with a bunch of children, um, playing football, loving football, having Sarai from FIFA, having Hannah from our football fans, you know, it just leads to a really special moment. I would say looking at a World Cup trophy and understanding what that means and what the pathway to that trophy is, but to bring it to the grassroots, to show those kids, to help them to understand actually what an amazing achievement it is that the football fans have made it. Um, and to really lift those girls up as role models for the young girls here to look up and see, wow, one day maybe that could be me. That's really special. Moving on to the junior competitions, they start this weekend. And Stephen, you're filling in for Mark Atkins, who actually cannot be here today. So, what's the new? What's what's in store for the junior competitions that start this weekend? Yeah, so the the junior space is the biggest by far in Auckland football's uh, portfolio of pathway junior, youth, senior, uh, and. In rough terms, you're looking at around about 12,000 players um, spread over almost 500 teams as per um, last entries we had as of today. Uh, and that's spread over almost 50 leagues. So um, a good reason that Mark's not here today is he's managing logistics about creating draws and divisions and entering all those things into Comet to, to get the junior season up and ready. But yeah, by far the, the biggest uh, section of our pathway in Auckland. So, on top of that, with the junior competitions taking place this weekend, what are we trying to achieve out of that? Is there something new that we're trying to achieve compared to last our previous seasons? No, nothing new directly. I think uh, in terms of what junior football is and its purpose, I think um, everyone needs to be of the understanding that um, once junior participation hits 12 years old, there's a there's a quite a large dropout rate, uh, and I think the first part of the pathway needs to be about ensuring that um, a love for the game is instilled. And New Zealand's football's vision in this regard is quite clear. It's the, the, the formative years are about two things: establishing a love of the game and letting players explore that love. Um, 
in, in a happy and fun, safe environment that, that promotes um, as many touches as they can get on a ball and spending as much time with a football as they can. And our competition structure reflects that. Uh, so for the, for the 2019 season, you'll see that um, results and standings aren't uh, recorded on our website. And the reasoning and the rationale behind that um, comes out of best practice environments from all over the globe. Um, and then ensures that from uh, the player's perspective, that uh, the, the focus is squarely on um, the love of the game, not the result of the game. And hopefully, um, if we can spread that message as far and as wide as we can, um, that helps um, all of the people who are connected with junior football enable our youngsters to experiment with the game and, and develop that passion for it. Now, right across the region, there are a number of, obviously, volunteers, parents who are getting involved with coaching. Um, is there a way that they can sort of find their resource or something that can help them in terms of coaching? Yeah, sure. I think um, McDonald's are a, are a key partner of New Zealand football and, and by extension Auckland football. Uh, and they put a lot of effort and time and resource into producing some really helpful um, guides and um, training um, templates and examples that can be used for coaches who are new and um, even those who've got experience in the game. And I think one of the things that people should be on the lookout for if you're a coach of a junior team, make sure you've seen um, this product. Uh, it's the training manual and the flip card charts for exercises for um, junior football. And what it gives is um, an easy reference point for uh, coaches who might not know what to do. And in, in simple terms, it's, it can be tucked away in your training bag and you can pull it out. And um, it gives you, in, in clear layman's terms, the best, um, the best practice model sessions that you can put on that um, kids will love and enjoy and I can speak from personal experience on this, it's not just kids who, who love this um, resource, we've used these um, several times myself as a coach in senior environments and um, over the course of the season those sessions, uh, some of those have been the best received from the playing group so um, if anyone's looking for a resource that can be of benefit to any player, primarily juniors but also anyone looking to promote fun element in their sessions then the McDonald's resources are fantastic for that. And uh, for anyone who is looking to get more detail on that, just make sure that when you visit our competitions page on our site, um, you'll see all the associated McDonald's resourcing that sits right next to your fixture there. So that includes coaching videos and um, the junior manual and a whole bunch of things. And obviously courtesy of McDonald's, that um, partnership has provided that resource for the game. Thanks, Stephen. That was very enlightening. Uh, good luck to all the junior teams taking part in this year's competition this weekend. That's it for AFF TV in this episode. Tune in next week for a new episode. Kaki te. We'll see you later.